Also look at this. If you read the bill, it was never about being gay. It was all about how you talk to specific kids at a specific age with the parents consent. That's it. Somebody said it was a gay bill and everybody is talking like it is a gay bill. It was never about being gay. It's all about talking to the person at the appropriate time and if not, with the parents consent. Hey ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We got another one for you. It's all about DeSantis. So if you like the content, remember to like, hit share, subscribe and let's start with the compilation of him. Does it say that in the bill? Does it say that in the bill? I'm asking you to tell me what's in the bill because you are pushing false narratives. It doesn't matter what critics say. Critics for who? Oh, for for grades pre-K through three. So five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, and. Um, the idea that you wouldn't be honest about that and tell people what it actually says, it's why people don't trust people like you because mm. you peddle false narratives. And Facts. so we disabuse you of those narratives. <laughs> and we're going to make sure that parents are able to send their kid to kindergarten without having some of this stuff injected into their school curriculum. And I know certain people are gonna be like, yeah, but we need to teach them about that, bada beam, bada boom. As my previous videos that I made, you know, about the witches that want to teach the girls to, well, touch the things and the boys choke Papa Smurf and everything. I'm like, hey man, why are you going with this? You know, by my standard, most kids don't even think about this stuff unless you don't mention it. But we all know that in cartoon TV, there's always this bam, 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 bam. My three-year-old one time tried to French kiss my wife because she thought, oh, I saw it in Netflix, so I'm going to try it too. And my wife was kind of laughing. She's like, what the heck is happening? Stopping him. But she, it made her realize, damn, these things are in children's stuff. He pulls off the mouth of Mrs. Potato Head just to shut her up. Hey, no one takes my wife's mouth except me. And the centaur stands out as a particularly odd one. Not only does the creature's entire head seem modeled after a part of the male anatomy, but when Hercules sends the beast skyward, he lands hard, resulting in a massive bruise swelling on the top of his head. If the suggestive shape of his skull passes any viewers by, with anger claiming to have seen one already. I saw a really hairy guy. He looked like a bear. The line is meaningless to kids, but adults will realize the term is typically used in the gay community to describe large, hairy men. Anger had no idea. And you have to be very freaking careful. And now you want to normalize it in school and be like, well, they're watching that, so they might learn it, so I better teach them. No, 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 no. Nobody is saying that we're against how you want to identify. So you think you're doing a good thing to the kids when they were taught by the TV, not by their own feeling or whatever. No, you're going to be like, if he's playing with a Barbie doll, I bet he's a woman. Let's guide them in that direction, just in case. I called Governor DeSantis this morning to express our disappointment and concern that if legislation becomes law, it could be used to unfairly target gay, lesbian, non-binary, and transgender kids and families. Chapik first apologized for not speaking out sooner against the Don't Say Gay bill, and then said he called the governor to take a stance against it, particularly as an advocate for his LGBTQ plus employees. He says they had a, quote, extraordinary conversation, and there are plans for for him to meet the governor with some of his LGBTQ cast members in the future. He was very open to this conversation and finding out what aspects are most concerning and working to ensure that that could not happen in the state of Florida with this legislation. So here's what I can tell you. Uh, in the state of Florida, uh, we are not going to allow them to inject transgenderism into the internet. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. You don't even know what you are at, at that age. They have a woke gender ideology imposed in their curriculums, and that is what we're standing for because we're standing for the kids and we're standing for the parents. Uh, and I can tell you this, there, the chance that I am going to back down from my commitment to students and back down from my commitment to parents' rights yeah simply because of fraudulent media narratives or pressure from woke corporations 
the chances of that are zero. Yeah. Nice. And when you have companies that have made a fortune off being family friendly and catering yes, to yes. and young kids, you know, they should understand that that's something that a lot of people don't realize that if you don't have kids, nobody is spending money and a lot of companies are like you know what we have to do this but they have to be family friendly because that's the opportunity that they're gonna visit us right but now you wanna push something outside which we don't consider it family friendly maybe teen friendly teenager friendly maybe adult friendly i don't mind that that's why i go to specific side if i want to do hoo 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 but not at that age that you're just a kid what a five years old needs to know oh my god i might be a transgender that doesn't make any sense and you're gonna cut him really come on man do you know how many people have put a tattoo that they regret i mean i'm going to tell you right now i believe there's going to be a pandemic of kids that have done surgery at a specific age they are then traumatized when they realize when they reach an age they're like hey maybe this wasn't that important maybe i could have a normal life just like i see with other people because a lot of people that hate themselves at a specific age me with one eye you come to terms that you realize the eye isn't the thing that's important it's how you express yourself and be confident because people like confident one-eyed black man with six-pack trust me that parents of young kids do not want this injected into their kids' kindergarten classroom. Uh, they do not want their first graders to go and be told that they can choose an opposite gender. That is not appropriate for those kids. And so if you're family friendly, understand uh, the parents who are actually raising families want to have their rights respected. Yes. And I also think that you have companies like a Disney that are gonna say and criticize parents' rights. They're gonna criticize the fact uh, that we don't want transgenderism in kindergarten and first grade classrooms. You know what I think is kind of weird though? It's like, I raise a kid. I raise two. It's hard from the beginning. You want to be able to get my kid and in one year just change the whole way that he's speaking, thinking. They're not mine? You can do whatever you want and if I don't agree with you, I'm the one damaging the kid? If that's the hill that they're going to die on, then how do they possibly explain lining their pockets with their relationship from the Communist Party of China? Ooh. Because that's what they do, and they make a fortune, and they don't say a word about the really brutal practices uh, that you see over there at the hands of the CCP. And so in Florida, our policy is going to be based on the best interest of Florida citizens, not on the musing of global yes. corporations. <laughs> It's me that I'm the one molding the clay, right? If there's a bump here and there. And the thing is, if I mold the clay with time, it gets drier and drier and it cannot change. And you're like, yes, but that's the thing. We need to mold them into gayness or transgender or whatever. But anything can be a reason for you to do that. That's the problem. As the Disney guy was saying, yes, but we want to be sure that this bill is not used in a way that certain people are going to have a bad time. True. But you don't make it clear. You make it blurry. No, 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 no. If I have Pikachu, you cannot be like, hey, it's a Balbazar. I told you. Didn't you see? It's blue. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I just think for this situation, I'm putting my foot down. I just don't like people to come and tell me what I have to do with my kids. It really bothers me. I'm like, you're not there with the kid with the milk when he's sick or whatever. And my kid can go to a school and all the years that I'm doing in one year, you get a back that might even hate you for the problem that he has. The amount of kids that I see right now with parents that aren't happy, they frustrate on each other is humongous and now you're gonna give them a reason to be right good luck anyway man let me know what you guys think or how you're handling the situation because i think the world is quite a mess right now anyway like share bada bim bam boom peace don't get me wrong my boss a bong